Ooh. On this week's no, episode. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You're gonna cry? No. Oh. This is cringe. This what is-, is up, you guys? My name is Danny with the fat nose. Ha <laughs> ha. My name is Irma with the big ass titties. And this is Let's Talk Fenehadas. I did not expect that. I'm sorry. You got me so off guard. That's my like new you, intro. Like clown, bro. Uh, just, let's talk <laughs> what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another motherfucking episode. I hope you missed us. Uh, it's <laughs> only been a week, but you guys, we are super fucking excited porque vamos a continuar el video de la semana pasada because I broke out into tears. It's okay. Estaba sintiendo. You had a moment, you know, and. You know, it's okay. You haven't had one of those moments in a while. You guys, I have been going through so many fucking mental emotions and so many yeah. like mental like changes that like I've been so emotional lately. So yeah. I just been kind of like appreciating life and stuff like that. A mí me da miedo un poquito that I'm appreciating life a lot because porque what if si me muero? I I I I no, nah, dude, because I literally, because it's, it's like weird that like, you're pr- like, like that I'm evolving. You're growing, you're yeah. literally evolving into a new Pokemon. Like the, like, and not only that, like there's no problem of me doing it. You right, know what I mean? Exactly, but it's just like kind of, it's it feels like it's a little bit of a shock to you in the sense of like, wow, like, like you're well, at that uh, age where you're like, literally. I can't believe that I'm what? literally thinking like this like life like uh-huh. we didn't think at our age like we were literally high school and we were like oh my gosh like we never understood what people meant like those mid 20s yeah. that you hit like the crisis vibes and you know something that i'm gonna uh, you know something that i'm gonna start doing very soon um if you guys have you guys ever seen have you guys ever heard of that saying kind of like saying um like once you hit a certain age, you should rewatch certain shows because you, you start it. understanding mm-hmm. it. So one thing that I love is Sex in the City. Yeah. So I think I'm at that age where I'm gonna start season one and two. And honestly, I'm a little terrified. Loki. Let me please don't watch this without me because you got me into Sex in the City and I want to watch it again. Now the other day I was watching a movie. I don't remember what movie it was, but I was like, huh. That's literally me. <laughs> You're like, why is it describing me? I was like, wait, <laughs> movies aren't false? I, this is literally me living this life in a movie? <laughs> Am I a main character right now? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Nah. It's just, there's so many, like, once you hit a certain, I'm not saying that I'm, we're old and no, like, we're going to give you not. guys wisdom. But now we're like, at that age where our brains are maturing, our frontal lobe is literally now completely like evolved, evolved, and uh, you damn know, it, I'm gonna have a small dick all the time. Ah, <laughs> damn, that says a lot. I was getting exposed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but like really though, it really is the time where you kind of evolve, mm-hmm. and I'm so kind of excited for the next years that yeah. to come because I feel like now, yes, ya tengo una mentalidad that. Entiendes. You understand now what you have to do to be able to accomplish what you want to do, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. The only thing that's stopping me is is me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, 100%. And you know what's crazy? I feel like I'm starting to get there. I'm not at your level yet, for sure. But you're not 25 yet. Uh, So you can't say that. (laughs) You're a little too young. You're 24. You're literally 12. (laughs) No, but yeah, because I feel like I'm starting to realize that and it's starting to kick my ass of like, damn, bitch, like I'm at this age and I feel like I've been mentioning it more and more. And then with us, we've been having like these late night talks. And honestly, those have been getting me thinking so hard and that's why like each day now since those the since that night barely last night <laughs> no it's been like i it's think been, it was a couple days ago yeah it know. really was a couple days ago that it made me realize like damn like i need to work mm-hmm. i need to work hard that's why like i don't know if you've noticed but these past few days i've no, been yeah, trying uh-huh. to get shit done so i just want to keep this momentum going i want to keep this mentality and this motivation going but it's just i just feel like irma yeah. finally realized like there was a time where there was nothing wrong where irma liked to contrevivir with nosotros right, and like I she would always from- kind of be like what are you guys doing so the other day we were kind of just talking and she's like what are you guys doing and i was like friend i'm gonna be honest with you mm-hmm. for monday tuesday and wednesday i am gonna be busy so maybe just come on tuesday or if you 
want to come on Monday just to come and edit, you can. Mm -hmm. But you should probably plan out your own days because as of right now, not only am I busy now, Alan but Alan, Alan is busy. Yeah. And you should probably start being busy. And she's kind of like, oh, fuck. You're right. You're so right. What am mm -hmm. I going to do tomorrow? Exactly. So it's just kind of like a whole thing. And the, the good thing is that not only are we growing together, but we are also kind of sharing what we are thinking at yes. the moment because it's like that's it's not a secret. It's, it's gonna not. it's gonna be found out sooner or later. I mm -hmm. wish during those talks I could repeat it to like my family members or like right. my sister or like whatever. <laughs> so recording with these talks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, literally, because it's like those type of moments are kind of the moments that you cherish and yeah. you will forever remember. It behind no, your honestly, fucking head it's gonna it's been on repeat in the back of my mind each time what i feel like i don't want to do anything but i'm like wait no way no way come back to life and actually get your shit done because mm -hmm. at the end of the day you could sleep when you die yeah you could mm -hmm. rest when you fucking die yeah. so i don't know lately and, it's been and great the other day like the other day too something mm -hmm. i kind of just told irma i was like i never said it in an offensive way Correct. it's just the way that i say things sometimes come off offensive because i'm a very harsh person you you do your uh show hard love yes and not only that i'm very straightforward like mm -hmm. i kind of just don't want to go around things exactly so the other day i kind of just kind of told irma i was like what do you what are you thinking about to do for yourself in the future what are you living for yeah. and she literally sat down and told me nothing yeah. And I go, you know how sad that is, friend? I was like, this world is very fucking limited. I was like, not only that, you only get one body, one soul, one heart, one everything, bitch. You have only one chance to live this life to the fucking fullest, bitch. And that's kind of like my motivation lately. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of just like tired of being a fucking Mamon vibes. And I'm tired of fucking <laughs> like getting getting in my way of my own fucking goddamn yes. self. And I'm starting to kind of just like love myself more. And I need to stop hurting myself because that's not the day. That's not the time of day that I want to give myself exactly, anymore. Yeah. I want to give love now. Yeah. I am at that point of time where Period. I can I can tell my body like, yeah, you're overweight, but I'm not going to tell my body you're a fucking fat bitch. Yeah. I need to love myself. I, why is it that like I always tell Irma, why is it that we can show love to others and be like, friend, you look so good today or friend, today your hair looks so beautiful, but we are our hardest critics and we go, ugh, I don't like my hair. Like, it's stop, not a, don't it's tell not, me that. Uh -huh. It's not a no. Nunca niegues, amiga. Yeah. Nunca niegues. It's always thank you and move on. Yeah. Because you are your own motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> no, you are your own motherfucking demon, bitch. That is true. You are your own motherfucking demon. No, so yeah. with that but enough said, today we are going to do Buzzball of the Week. Oh my gosh, you guys, I know. Buzzballs, bitch. We've been fucking getting drunk off buzzballs very much lately and low-key because they fucking hit. No, they, they hit. Fucked up. I, I Honestly, low-key, 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 I'm Thank buzzed. You. Ah! I'm buzzed already by looking at this. No, dude, you guys, I'm so excited. My favorite drink right now. I don't understand why. And maybe this kind of makes me like nasty or whatever. Like, however you guys say, yeah, I know for bitch. a fact that the way that people look at when they go, oh, I love for locos is the dude, exact same way that, that people they, look at them when they say I love buzz balls. Bitch, these are a little buzz balls. I like it, to shove them up my pussy. Uh, <laughs> no, the one thing that I low-key kind of uh. like about buzz balls is that they get me drunk, but then I'm drunk as fuck, and then I slow it down. Yes. And then I drink another one, I'm drunk okay, as fuck. Yeah. And then, uh, it's, it's kind of like when you're like high, low key. No, it really is. It's literally when you're on a good one and you have those little peaks of energy. And then I, <laughs> and then there's an end finale. I fucking always throw up. Yeah. Because literally every single time, literally every, every single time I have a buzz ball, I throw oh, up. Dude, no. And that's the thing. But you know what? You may get a hangover all day, but you have the bestest time nah, when dude. you're fucked up and i feel like i haven't been and you know what i'm gonna say this now the you last time said, you just got fucked up oh, dude, yeah. and you had a lot of fun huh and <laughs> you kind of so didn't fun. even regret it i don't regret it to be honest because it was just so much fun i was having a jolly ass <laughs> yeah. time i ended up knocking out on fucking norali's fucking bed and it was just really no, dude, it was such a vibe it. like i always <sighs> tell irma nowadays i kind of tell irma i was like don't be negative about going into a party of oh i'm not gonna have fun yeah. or i'm not gonna do this or i'm not gonna talk because to anybody I'm always literally like, as I'm not gonna drink. 
no, I'm not going to drink. And then I get so much in my head. I'm like, oh, my God, do I look good? Do I look this? Do I look that? Because and then you the start end, sweating. Yes. And that's when I literally start to panic. And, and I'm then like, you go, I don't want to drink anymore. Mm, I don't want to do it because I ruin my own mood. And that's not OK. And then when I ruin my own mood, I'm here ruining everybody else's mood because I have this attitude. So now I am learning. As we mentioned, we're like growing and stuff. But I am happy that with this growth, I am having more fun. I am having the time of my life. I am enjoying life. And hopefully I get out of that mind spe- that mind space that I was saying earlier, you know, like how you mentioned that I didn't really see myself having a future. It's that I have more of a hope. hope. Uh, <laughs> Jinx, I'm like, I'm ready. And you no, guys, really. something that I want to tell you guys about Buzzball, and this is the only reason why I support them. Uh, uh, they are women owned. Shut the fuck up. Wait, hold up. Really? Oh, baby. We love woman-owned products. No okay. wonder these are fucking bomb because they get straight to the point. Yeah, oh so God, it says right here. It says oh, right it here, woman-owned. Uh, that's an A+. Plus. That's an A+. Plus. Oh, my God. Look Two here. women. Two women. A woman power. Oh, my God. Wow. You guys, so I'm actually trying for the very first time pineapple colada chiller. Ooh, that sounds good. Um... Loki, it does taste like a pina colada. <laughs> so, um, the only thing with it is that it is really motherfucking strong. Do you want to try it? I Loki want to try it. This one's really good. Loki, it tastes like a fucking uh orange juice, like a juice, but with strong alcohol. <sighs> yeah, juice with like a juice with strong alcohol for sure. Now these are strong. Oh, I love the pina colada. Okay, you guys, and we also brought a little special surprise, pero ahorita no les vamos a decir qué va a ser. Uh, During the middle of the video, van a ver que we're going to take a buzz ball shot. Oh, shit, you're right. I was bitch, I was even surprised myself. I was like, "Wait, what is what's the surprise?" <laughs> you're like, well, you're like, well, "Are you going to give me money?" <laughs> like, what's going on? Raffle time? Yeah, we're going to take a motherfucking <laughs> shot because um, fuck ball. it. So right now we're just going to chill on drinks and we're going to finish off our conversation from what we did last time. Yes. But this is a buzz ball that we're going to do. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. So this is the one that we actually were drinking when we went to Laughlin as a vacation, which was so much fucking Dude, fun. it was so much fun oh. that I kept... I low-key got fucked up both yeah. nights because I had buzz ball the you entire time. You were the time. one that mainly drank this, mm-hmm. didn't you? No, I, I only, did. I only had one cup of buzz ball and that's it. And it was like those cups that they have at the fucking hotel in the bathroom. And they were so small, yeah. dude. We're, why didn't we bring good cups? I don't even know, to be honest. But anyways, I we were going to be taking shots of this, but let's sip on these for the meantime. Uh-huh. And then also, sorry, sorry, sorry. If you guys didn't notice the cups. Oh, I know. They're so cute. Oh, these are the ones that I got at the fucking thrift store. I did wash them, so don't judge. Uh-huh. And, but yeah, these are the cups that I'm using. So finally, I forgot about them for a moment. And now we're using this for this episode to get a little buzz and go back down memory lane like, once uh, again. Yeah, because Loki, am I going to cry? I don't, I don't know, know again. But, but it's okay. you know, let's let's just go down memory lane and be cautious about what I'm going to think. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't even be thinking during this video yeah. because I overthink a lot about my life. Let's just have a little more. Let's, let's just have like a chill moment a little chug so we could kind of prepare ourselves and yeah so cheers Mm. (sighs) oh wow the second time i was that is great (laughs) are you struggling you want to go first yeah i want to go first because i was the one that finished crying Okay. okay So, I also have some Chuck E. Cheese pictures oh. with my um my little brother. Oh, he, when looks he was a so baby. Funny. And then my best friend at the time, Ruby. Oh. And then <gasps> Ashley and her best friend. Damn, they look so tiny, bitch. What the fuck? Y'all look like babies. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was a lot. Okay, <laughs> let's go down more. I also, something that I also like to do, you guys, is save all of my birthday cards. I don't know why. It's a I have, Yeah, I have one from my mom, oh. from Alan. Oh, this was like the like the note cards to send from Kiki Boo. Oh my god, how cute! More drawings from my Noah. Oh, look at the the oh how you wrote Ashley's name in the back. That's so cute. Yeah, dude, I have I have like so much empathy for Noah oh and stuff god, like that. Oh my god, that's like so another cute. card from Alan. Eyes. You guys want to hear one? Yes, I do want to hear. Okay. I was gonna tell you like read one. Like what's <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> how okay. about, what was this? Oh, this is actually me to Jose. Ah, uh, bitch. Read one from Jose. There was one earlier over here, no? 
Peach. What the fuck? Me making fun of the cards? <laughs> Peach. <laughs> this one. I'm like, this one. Read this one. <laughs> I think I gave that to Alan. Shut up. Loki, it's because Alan doesn't like the same things. That's true. I know it is. <laughs> Alan, what the fuck are you doing? Well, this is the one that I sent to him. It was a cute little cheese grater. Can it I says, read you're it? the greatest. Uh... It says, just my cheesy way to say thank you. And sorry. Oops, I did something. What did you do? I was like, I love you, baby. The fights we have never let me forget the love I have for you. Happy seven months. <gasps> seven months? Oh, shit. That so cute. Damn, that's from a long what time ago. Fuck? Wait, so you guys started dating in... When was it? When this was, was before it? we started moving out. Ah, we all had what? problems already. It really was. Wait, but like... What what month did you guys start dating again? We started dating in April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. We were already oh, probably living together. That's so cute. Okay, I'm going to start bringing Yay! out your binder. <laughs> okay. So I can drink. Oh, ah. Perfect. This is my preacher book to my five handsome little boys that I would literally fucking... <laughs> Masturbate to. <laughs> expose me <laughs> exposing myself but literally i have this huge binder that i used for high school for my dental stuff but i don't do dental no more and i didn't like it so i replaced it with literally all my one direction stuff <laughs> so we're gonna go through a few things that we you know stole here and there ah. yeah, i haven't listened to the previous episodes um but yeah so this is down memory lane oh my god dude i have i don't know where all my magazines are like that from teen no vogue way. and yes, like oh my dude, god iconicness right hopefully the glare isn't too bad but literally this is a folder that i would literally use for my classes and stuff so i try not to <gasps> what is this i try not to destroy it but is that a card? From who? <gasps> no! 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 Wait! 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 wait. You're gonna cry? No! Oh! <laughs> this is cringe! This is so cringe! I'm sorry. I'm like being very extra, but this is hella cringe. This Why? is a letter to one of my crushes that I had in my class as a TA. He didn't know shit about me at all. I didn't even know how I existed, and I was gonna give him this fucking letter. And why didn't you give it to him? Because I was fucking ill. Like. <laughs> Was this in high school? Yes! Oh my I was God. a junior, bitch. Remember Miss Sanchez? The uh -huh. history teacher? I had him. Oh, for like the TA. The, oh, Irma! I, is it I, is it the TA the one that was a baseball player? Too? Yes! I know who he is. Oh my God, wait. What, how do you know him? Oh, uh, because I had him for our, our, uh, my... Uh, my forensics class. Shut the fuck. I mm -hmm. thought he was so nah, cute. Nah, he was sexy. He was so fun. Anyways, but he had uh, a girl. But anyways, he had a girl when I was trying to give him the letter, though, Loki. Um, uh, but... Irma was trying to be a homewrecker. <laughs> okay, I just always, do a little glimpse I of what you said. I always have been a fucking homewrecker. But let's do... No, the back. I saw that. Wait, which what one? What does that say? I know you may not notice me, but I, hopefully you do. <gasps> Secret admirer. <laughs> BFFR. I can't, dude. Look at how I started off. Carlos, this may. <laughs> and not you reading it in a sexy voice. You're like, this, this is, is what I would have said to you this in person. Is how I imagine this letter would okay, sound go. to him, dude. Go no, on, it on. was bad. No wonder I had no one to fucking. Run. Anyways, Carlos, this may sound look really cheesy and weird writing you a letter confessing to you i guess i could say it's hard to tell you <laughs> this even in a letter like this but i like you <laughs> no, i even circled the i like you have feelings for you bitch Dude, you're so cringe, dude. I'm literally like going like this. Let's not read that no more. Uh, I was like, if you guys want her to read it, Irma will open up her own podcast and she will do letters to no, my secret dude, admirer. Honestly, uh, this is the only letter that I actually wrote to like someone that I actually well, had a Carlos. <laughs> if you're out there, I'm here, baby. I have your letter. If you want to read it. <laughs> <laughs> no dude it was so bad but it got so bad to the point that i would stalk his ask fm i would ask him questions anonymously like oh, it was shit. yeah never mind i'll shut up <laughs> you were sucker man yeah no i think i was like just deprived of dick <laughs>
Uh-huh. <laughs> but anyways, moving on from that secret admirer, let's go back to my actual boys. Ah, the ones that never noticed me either. <laughs> But this is literally the magazines that I would get as a monthly subscription, but also I would steal from the store. Wait, so how would you have a monthly subscription if you didn't have any money? Well, that's why I would use my mom's card. And she wouldn't know that Vogue.com was fucking charging her yeah, everything. Yeah, she wouldn't. Low key, I don't know. She didn't know. And she's like, I love all your new magazines. I love it so much. Thank you for letting me read, leaving her. I'm learning my English. Uh, what's you makes you beautiful. <laughs> but no, yeah, literally. Literally, I would keep all of their magazines nicely and organized in these fucking folders. I the ones that are like literally ripped. look like in them like literally ripped are the ones that I kind of like. The ones that you stole? Yeah. <laughs> Admitting to the truth. Please don't arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yeah, this one was kind of irrelevant. I would get these kind of magazines. This is the one that I actually stole. So oh, you stole a whole ass magazine? Yeah, I literally stole a whole ass fucking magazine. It still smells like your Pinot. Uh, Let's see. Bitch. <laughs> and it says right here 106 photos revealing interview dating secrets plus the wanted cody simpson big time rush <laughs> Dude, literally. and then it says six huge posters <laughs> i kept those posters and they're in here for sure and there were the ones that would hang on my wall too bitch so i was just really obsessed with them that i will get my hands on anything Okay, so now it's my turn. Now, if we're going to go ahead and start talking about our band thingy. Oh, shit. I have a book that I read from head to toe. Oh, my God. I have a Lady Gaga book. <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry. It's called Lady Gaga Just Dance, the biography. She looks really iconic. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh my god! Wait, what is it? I didn't know I had these. Look, you guys! Oh my god! Look, this is no one me. Oh my god! My mom's gonna cry. Dot com. Hold on, let me see that shit once we're done. Cute vibes. Oh, he looks so adorable, Daddy. You look so fucking straight. You were really trying to look straight here. Yeah, I really was. Oh my god! And then I have a graduation picture of all of us. Yeah, I do. Oh my god, dude, I can't believe I have these. Look, I also have a picture of me and Ashley. That is so cute. Oh. And then these were a couple of my friends. I used to actually, you guys, the reason why I have these was because these were in my binder. No wonder I was like, why are they like fucking like there's note paper and stuff? Yeah. Like, and this is one of oh me my and my God. best friends at Knots at the time. Wait, who are oh I remember her. I remember yeah. her. But who was her? That's uh Alexa. Shut she up. She was in dance. Shut up. That's her? Yeah. Well, she, she looks, looks so ugly. different there. She looks like the like, the person that goes on live, Alpha. <laughs> Wait, which was this one? Okay. And then this. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That one. Mm-hmm, sorry. No, okay. Sorry. I'm all like trying to grab Ah, you're shit. all trying to grab everything. <laughs> I'm, just I'm like trying no, to grab And then there's a couple of pictures like Lady Gaga. Iconic. No, dude. It was such an iconic oh, ass book. Oh, my God. You know what's crazy? I just realized I had a fucking One Direction book and I didn't even bring it. Yeah, dude. This is fucking iconic. And it's I still spra- it looks brand new. Everything. I was like, I'll sell it to you. Ah, uh, how much you want it? A million you want dollars? 5,000 million? <laughs> okay. And then I also have, I don't know, I low-key don't know why I have this, but I mean, I have some sex toys in Ooh, here. I think you were this. trying to save that for like a special day with that <sighs> line. And then I also have my first ever cock ring. Wait, that was the one that you showed earlier. That's the packaging? Yeah. You get the packaging? Yeah, because I like to keep special moments. <laughs> Oh, of when I ever used the first cock if. ring. And then this was my little binder for T-Mobile oh for when God. I got hired. Oh, oh, what's all that? Oh my God, what's all this? Dude, what you guys, you... I have so many things hidden in this. Literally, you have so many pictures. Okay, so first of all, I have a picture of a lot. <laughs> oh no, please. You guys can't see? Okay, look at it. Here. Oh, I have a picture of room? LA. <laughs> LA, not the LA, bitch. <laughs> I have a picture of me being in 2012. Ah, motherfucker. Bitch. <laughs> this was else. literally a fucking mood. Dude, I literally had so many things. Like, look. Stop. Right here it says, oh, I had to keep my time for my time pin. But I didn't even pay attention in that class. What okay. the fuck? Shut the fuck up. It literally says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> literally, it's because they were being annoying. 
<laughs> Sometimes oh. with customers when they would be annoying, I would literally write shut the fuck up. And if they didn't fucking if they saw it, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> All right. So now I also have. Did, remember when I told you guys that I had I, w- I had a brochure from when I was at a child shall lead. Oh. Well, this is actually my lines. No way. So look, let me read you guys a passage because I am an actor. Explain your character. So my name was Martin Lowy, a 10-year-old, the new kid. He comes from a wealthy Prague family. He didn't fit in on many levels. He loves to draw. So that was my actor. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So we also did do like the... Diagram? Like like a... No, this was uh, like how the stage was built. Yeah. Oh. So this was a uh, like for the Jewish thingies, mm-hmm. and then this was the backstage. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to remember that because sometimes she would be like, "Okay, you need to go stage left, you need to stage right, right," and then they would be numbers on the floor. So then I would have to figure out where I was gonna be. Oh, that comes a lot with the theater. Uh huh. Uh-huh. No, bitch. Ah, bitch. It literally looked like you though. No, Loki. it's not. So these were my lines. Okay. okay do a good part. <coughs> Okay, ready? Yeah. Martin Lowy, 10, 317, Missile Street, Prague. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Not anymore. What do you mean? He means now you live in Tarzan. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me help you with that, because I want to actually hear your Martin. Your Martin character. But I don't please. I don't remember my name. What do you mean? Yes, I know, that's why. Oh, okay, I'll be I'll be Eric, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay so anyways, Eric. Not anymore. What do you mean? He means now you live in Terrazin. Yes, but... Where... What? <laughs> like here. <laughs> Life you were here. definitely not meant to be an no, actor. No, honestly, I really wasn't meant... I never was in theater. <laughs> Life here is going to be a little different. Where's my room? Your room? And then, yeah, 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 yeah. And then right here. And guards shooting. There must be a mistake. There's no mistake. You don't understand. I want to speak to someone... It's someone in charge. I'm Martin Lowy. I didn't do anything wrong. They came to... <sighs> Look at how long my line is. Damn! You would memorize that? Mm-hmm. How long would it take you to so memorize it, goes, it? You don't understand. I want to speak to someone in charge. I'm Martin Lowy. I didn't do anything wrong. They came to our house. They chased away the servants. They made us get in a line. I got separated from my parents. I tried to tell them, but no one would listen. I was pushed into a boxcar with all these people. I didn't even know. They closed the door. The train started moving. And when it stopped, we were here. It's a mistake. I'm Martin Lowy. My father is Valkal Valawi. My mother is Athena. I have a little brother, Joseph. I live at 317 Missile Street in Prague. <laughs> we all used to live somewhere else. I don't belong here and I'm hungry. I didn't eat anything since they took us from our house. You dumb little bitch. <laughs> Bravo. That dude, I did have a lot of lines. Look. Us, so please. one, two, three. And then I would come out randomly. Four. I would come out randomly. Five. I would come out. Look, look. <gasps> so this is me, you guys. Like, this is another la- dude. It was long, dude. You would have to all memorize all of that. that. All of that. So I'll try to read it really fast. Dear brother, it may seem strange that I am writing to you since I didn't know where you are and couldn't mail this letter out, even if I did. But I will write you anyways and save the letters until we see each other again. I am Terrazin Bark L318. It is about 60 kilometers from Prague. Dude, I had a whole last line, you guys. It was literally from here to here. I was an optress. I could have won an Emmy. You but really no, was. I'm here doing YouTube. Uh. Uh. If. As if. I'm an actor. <laughs> Please give me my word. Bala. Nah, okay. dude, I did have a lot of lines. No. I didn't even know how I did this. You had a good memory back then, bitch, Look, but then the smoking bitch. started. Oh. Look. <gasps> we. I. Nah. Look, bitch. But how would you. All like, of this. What's astonishing to Look. me is how you would memorize that. So, one thing my drama teacher taught me was that if you wanted to memorize your lines, you had to always do it before you fell asleep. And you know, something else that I did was I used to always um, put voice memos of my lines on there. And and I would put it in my headphones during when I went to sleep. Wow, and it would help. And it, it worked completely. Wow. I learned all my fucking lines. Because you're literally lines. like making oh. your brain memorize those lines and making new lines for memory. Mm-hmm. Wow, dude. 
And like I, I said, I'm an octa. So you are a great manipulator. Let's shot. Shot time. Vamos a tomar en la playa. Ah, ah. Vamos a tomar en la playa. Ah, ah. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm scared. Oh, of what? Okay. I don't know. It's just, fuck. We're, damn. <laughs> The good thing is that we're at home and it's a Tuesday. <laughs> well, I'm sleeping over today. Okay, and no, I don't live do. with them, okay? You first. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Okay, ready, guys? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bitch, you want to get fucked up. Have you been feeling okay these past few days? Nah, Loki. Uh, no. But Loki. <laughs> but <laughs> nah, Loki. <laughs> I Loki wanted to drink. I've been wanting to drink. Like you're like, I want to film so bad because I want to drink. No, Loki. Like that's so bad, Loki. More like high key. Like, but you nah. know what? It's because también, as we mentioned earlier, we've just been literally mentally going through a lot. Mainly, Danny has been going through a lot mentally. So you know. I give you props for doing you and being uh, you're like, I give you a props for fucking drinking your, your pain away. Uh? <laughs> fucking alcoholic. Uh? Literally. Okay, go. Your turn. Okay. So now let's move a little bit more quicker just because I feel like I have too much. So point is, oh, this was my favorite magazine. This was the magazine that I literally did not get in the subscription. And this is why I started the subscription because um, of this magazine. Hey, can I ask you something? Did yeah. you ever go up to them and kiss them? I think I admitted that last episode that I would kiss them at night. Oh, bitch! You're like, like night. Night. No, I actually did kiss when I had Lady Gaga on yeah. my wall. You guys, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the picture right here. I had it on Facebook, oh, and I had the wall of my Lady Gaga thing, and I would kiss it too. Oh, okay. So I didn't feel weird. Okay, yeah, no. I feel good about myself now. Thank but you. But you probably made out with all of them. You were like, "Good night, now. Uh, good night, Harry. Uh, good night, Zane. Good night, Louis." Good night, Niall. Good night, Paul. Good night, pussy. <laughs> but yeah, no joke, y'all. Like, magazines were very valuable, like, a valuable thing for me. So, and this one also was my favorite one because it was, like, them on Teen Vogue. Oh, let me see. Yes. Oh, this dude. is a nice magazine. Yeah, I kept the quality really, really nice on these specifically because, like, they're on the front cover and it's not on the Chafita fucking magazines, like, J14 or whatever oh, it was. What is this? It's a birthday card. I was just going to go through this. Oh, my God. This is the no. one, but I, I had wanna... a quince. You did have a quince? Yeah, remember? It was, like, a small one with my sister, Bautizo. A quince slash Bautizo. <laughs> <laughs> So it wasn't really a pizza, but see. anyways, here, I'll show you right now. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God. I don't want to rip my babies. Hold on. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, here, look at oh these. Oh my God, Irma. Oh, okay, so this was the Imagine first there's still one. Imagine money in here. Dude, for real. You know what? I think last time I checked and there was money, but I think I already took it. Ah. Damn it. Ah. But Wait, this where? one was, uh, it says, Quinceañera, el amor de Dios brilla a través de tus juventud, de tus sueños y de tus ilusiones. Hoy que empiezas esta nueva en etapa de tu vida, solo quiero decirte que su amor te vuelva y te projeta proteja para que seas feliz hoy y siempre. Felicidades, quinceañera. De, desean tu tío Ramiro and Tere Cario. Oh, this Let me see. This is my But tía. they made this for you? This was a picture of you? No, bitch, you fucking oh. swear. You thought it was a picture of me? Yeah. No, bitch, Who you is swear. this bitch, man? It was a 15-year-old girl. It's a quinceañera girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. No, but I mean, you already know those fucking Mexican ass fucking cards and shit, you know? Where were the other two from? Let me see. Hold uh, on. Um, one was from a class, I guess. And then the uh, other one was really? from a lady named Irma. Oh, Do you know who that is? I don't know, but I, sound that, I heard that she's like fucking dumb as fuck, got nappy ass hair and like... No, I swear to God, it was from someone named Irma. Oh, for real? I swear to God. Oh, it says right that here. it was from uh, my cousin's... <laughs> You're calling Thea's? your cousin's <laughs> Thea? <laughs> fucking crusty. I'm sorry. No, yeah, this one's from Irma Mejia. I know who this one is from. She was a very nice lady. Um, I don't know. No, don't rip it because it's going to rip the whole thing. Just leave it. No, but I want to see. No, you could thing. see it open like that. It's just from like your classmates and stuff. Ew. I'm just kidding. No, oh, this was from my cousins. No, I really do want to read this. Mm, where's my fucking Navaja? I know. I was looking for that too, Loki. 
You're gonna rip the card. Okay. It's okay. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. Oh, I used to play music. It was one of those cards that I would play music. Yeah, it was from my cousin Brenda, Ana Maria, Sandra, my tío, my tía, and my. And they're like, prima. I'm not gonna give you a separate card. I'm just gonna go ahead and get uh, the whole family to write one. That's how me and my family would do it, though. Oh, we, we really? would give it to like other families and stuff. Like we would, we would do that and stuff. So that's it was crazy. It was fun. Oh my god, we're already starting the posters. I'm so excited. But yeah, anyways, this was one of them. That's Louis. Mm. Supposedly, he was in a fake relationship with Eleanor, but who knows? Maybe he was in a gay relationship with Harry in the meantime. But anyways, I don't know. <laughs> and then this was one of the met. Oh my God. Low key, there's tape. Maybe don't take over. them out. Just show yeah. them. It's because of the glare, low key. But it's okay. You can still kind of see it like okay, that, like cool. that. Oh my God. Okay. So this was literally one of the. All, these are literally all the magazines that I had on my wall. And I mean all of them. There was no ones that I would miss. Some of them were front and back, so I made sure that like it would show. Oh my god, this was one of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I remember freaking out. Oh, that was like the big west one. Yeah, it was like one of the big ones, and I had this one on the ceiling. Moon Selena Gomez in the back. <laughs> Bitch. It's crazy how like she kind of like grew up with us. Yeah, literally. If you really think about it. And she it, was all behind your wall. <laughs> For real, she really was. But this was one of the iconic pieces from them. I would kiss them every night. I'm really careful with these because what if they actually become valuable? Ah, does a it? Bitch, for real, it's just fucking paper, just rotting and shit. And then these were just a lot more posters that I had. Oh my gosh, this was my favorite one of Zayn when he had like the rose in his mouth. I just thought ah. that's so sexy. And then I think I just saw a few cards coming up. I do. Okay. Here are some more birthday cards. I don't know why I have them all over the place. I actually was kind of worrying the other day of like, where the hell are all my birthday cards? I couldn't find them, but here are a few. This one's like a little cake one. You had them on your wall too? No, not these. Then why do I they just... have tape? You did have them on your wall. I guess I did. <laughs> huh. She's like, yeah. my wall is everything. My She's wall, like, if I want shit on there, I'll ugh. put it. I don't give a fuck <laughs> no yeah um jesus and rosalba oh this was my neighbors thank you so much <laughs> oh, oh oh okay this is oh really oh this was my sixth grade best friend from sixth grade her name was daisy and she, she was actually really nice we were really bonding and stuff until eventually like I noticed that she would purposely want to get chiqueada by others. And then that's when I stopped talking to her. Ah, <laughs> you're like, that's when I hated her. Literally, that's why I was like, girl, like, chill the fuck out. Stop being a pick me girl. Ah. Literally, that's what it was. And then this was another one from, I don't know who. <laughs> this one's from, oh, Maritza. Oh, this was from one of my friends, Maritza. You know Maritza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Maritza. She gave me this cute letter. Thank you, Maritza. Did I ever tell you that? I, I did tell you, huh, that I went to elementary school with her? Yeah, I think you did. Uh -huh. Yeah. She was always really nice. So I love her for that. This one was from, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, I don't think that one opens. It just says wishing you. Oh, it ripped. Oh, <laughs> Okay, and this one's from my neighbors. It literally says, your next door neighbors. <laughs> They're like, uh, just in case if you don't know. But yeah, but other than that, these were mainly all of my fucking posters in this binder right here. So there's really not much to fucking show other than to just keep calm and love fucking Zane. Uh, uh, literally, look. <laughs> literally oh I'm my dead. god you guys my senior pictures Shut the fuck oh up. my god you guys i have so many fucking pictures in here stop oh my god you never showed me these first of all i have a picture of ashley when she was stop. a baby stop you guys see cute vibes see oh you so ashley Cute and then I also went to Cypress College, the photo department. <laughs> Me serving it up Gary's way. Ah, you like SpongeBob? And then these were all of my senior pictures. So I have this one. Oh, you look so handsome. I don't like this one, but whatever. Mm -hmm. 
me showing you guys my whole photo gallery. Nah, they low key kind of did you dirty on that because they made you look sucio with the lighting. Yeah, low key. Nah, fucking they. Putos. What kind of fucking photography is this? I me crossing my arms. Well, it's fucking high school, so it's like they probably got a free. Uh, Let me it's see. Literally Let from me the see government. If I have a good one that I liked. Oh my I, God. I don't think we ordered it because it was like big. The fuck! I already got them here. Ah, why are you cupping your Why are you cupping your balls? Not because they told me to do that shit. <laughs> no, you look really cute right there. Nah, that shit was fucking annoying. Nah, Loki, I did not like any of my senior ones either, so it's okay. Uh, and then this is Ashley and one of our best friends at the time. Oh, oh my God! Stop! I see the arched back, bitch. It was those moments. Ashley! Oh my god, is that? Oh my god, bitch! This is a Christmas card, which I don't know who this is from, so it's probably gonna be trash soon. It's probably mine. And then this uh, is. To... Mood, why do I have this? This good is a question. lot. Oh my god, that's low key all the things that I have. Wait, what's that necklace? I showed the necklaces already. You did? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? I don't what recall you showing that's that. That's literally everything already. Well, you know, I actually have one last binder. And it's mainly, once again, it's mainly posters, but there is a few items that I didn't realize that I actually still had as a memory. And yeah, so let's see oh my gosh i do oh, oh my you gosh. have their t-shirts i <gasps> oh my god you still have your ticket yes <laughs> okay so first oh thing, my god i think this is when we both when went to, all three went, went to, to new fucking york. new york oh my god oh my god and joy is there joy was honestly joy was so sweet like i always she, remember her name she was always so sweet she was so nice but dude, that was the assistant for laura geller yeah, and loki she kind of didn't can i she, see it yeah of course oh my god i'm gonna loki cry oh, oh and this is the ticket that we got oh it is oh my gosh i really like that coat you guys can let me borrow it huh yeah. Oh my gosh. You dude, look so different there though. Low key, huh? We all low key. This is low key kind of like where we started all kind of gaining weight. Yes. You're so fucked up. I low key, yes. key want to get my hair blonde again. You should. I feel like you'll look um more. Ah, you're like more ghetto. Ah. Is the, no, but I think it'll look really good on you. I don't know why you didn't. You shouldn't. Okay, so, no, yes, this was my ticket. This was my ticket. So, if you guys saw in the previous video, I had a cutout of a, a paper thinking that I lost the ticket. This is the official ticket that I had when I went to go see One Direction at their fucking, um, was it called? 2013 tour, bitch. Oh, shit. The man. ticket was worth... How much was it worth? I don't it think it'll tell you the price, no? No, huh? Mm -mm. But anyways, I was literally section 108, seat 18. Uh, no, row 18, seat 10 at the Staples Center. Uh -huh. Lovely memories. And then, of course, I have more notes, but I don't know from who. Oh, okay. Oh, is that from Rosa? So, that's for my mom and my dad. Oh. So, you know when you would do, I don't know if you did this, but when you would do your first communion and you would do that no. retreat? No. So, my parents made me do it. And the parents had a job to, in the middle of the retweet, the retweet, bitch, the retreat, they would give, uh, our parents would write the letters and give it to us so we could read them and have like this sentimental moment and be like, mm, you know. So, of course, I cried because they were literally pouring out their emotions. But can we just... Can we just stop for a moment and see the difference of how my parents write? My mom went to school a little bit, so she knew how to write. Her beautiful writing, my dad's. Let me see. Oh, it wasn't that bad, It though. wasn't that bad, but, like, you could tell, like, he would always struggle to write. You know? So it kind of, like, brings back those memories of, like, he literally, my dad stopped going to school when he was in third grade. Oh, shit. Just to start working because his family was, like, poor. And he, I mean, like, dirt poor like extremely Dude, poor so it was really sad so like now i feel like he How literally cherished he cher i could tell that he cherishes everything that he has right now even though i could be such a bitch to them but like when i have those moments i could tell that he cherishes that because he's like okay like mommy ha like still loves me so yeah, anyways yeah. i don't want to cry but anyways and then this was from a comic book thing that I went to with my cousin. She would invite me to these little cool like events like for example this was like the Marvel movie she got invited to so they Have gave out like free comics and stuff. If you want, you could take it out. Um, but yeah, she invited me to like their fucking uh, what's it called? Like what, to see them. You have this? Yeah. Is what it? the fuck? Yeah, dude. I never read it. And then I actually went to another one, which was the Avengers. This was this one. 
and it was literally like a whole fucking comic book like that's so cool Loki. so if there's actual value to this let, let me, me know, know. Ah. no for real but this is the infinity the one that just recently came out not too long ago no so. no this this hasn't came out Th- really the infinity uh ganglions no it hasn't oh wow i Loki want to read this because <gasps> Oh my god, Spider-Man is in this yeah. one. So, I mean, I have them here, babe. So, if you want to read them, pop off. Yeah, like, Loki, I am going to read them. Because yeah. if they come out with the movie of this one... You'll understand it better. Yeah, Because comics give you that real, like... I don't know, like, it's fucking weird. Like, comics give you the real fucking thing. Nah, this is, this is so weird to see this because it's like... You don't see comic books out like that no more. Well, you can, but, like, it's just... Astonishing to see that in person. Mm-hmm. Like, how... Like, I don't know. Wow, I did read cool. it. I did read it, but I, of course, I forgot about yeah, it. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. swear I'm going to fucking remember. Yeah. But I actually forgot I had these. Like, I didn't realize I had put more stuff in this pink one, like, memory wise, than I thought. I thought it was mainly posters. I'm not going to lie. And then, of course, another little, little section where I had my One Direction stuff, which were literally their fucking photo cards. They were like Pokemon oh, cards. Oh, yes, I know. But those. they were literally cards of fucking them. So they and you had like a collection, like they each had a number and stuff. So like you'll know nah, how much you Loki, had. Loki, I'm so s- fuck. I'm so sorry, Irma, but like I think I'm a little fucked up. No, Loki, I'm feeling the drink too, so I don't blame you, bitch. But anyways, anyways, did you want to end it now or what? No, no, no. You keep oh, okay. going. I'm okay. having a great time. Okay, cool. Because I, I Loki really do want to show this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Having a great time. Go I'm off. sorry if I'm boring you. No, go <laughs> off. I'm not. You're not boring me. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I even had like their little notepad. How cute! You got those at the Swami, huh? No, I would get these at Claire's, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, they Claire's. sold stuff like that. Yes, that's so cool. Right, and then this was when I went. Was this for Beyond? Oh this my was for God. Beyond. Uh, yes, when we went to Beyond, bitch. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh my God. And then this is when I went to Hard Summer, I believe. Who'd you go to Hard Summer with? Hard, no, Life is Beautiful. This is the Life is Beautiful rave. I Did I go to that? No, you didn't go to that. You're not boring me, okay? I don't know why I'm yawning. It's just chill. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> You're all mad? And then if you guys fucking didn't know, Alan came out with a little collection. Oh my god, dude. I, I like we were all so supportive with it and I literally kept his little fucking card. And oh my god, he's so cute. He even left in the note in the back. It literally says, Irma, thank you for always being so thankful. Hell <laughs> lol you're someone that means the world to me you have a best friend in me always and uh, you got like, a friend in me you got a friend in me how cute oh my, oh my god oh dude damn i was that shady and that pissed at danny that ashley still invited me personally 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 this was her invitation can i to, see it because i haven't yeah, seen that in forever 15 and i still didn't go now, Loki, if you don't mind, can I have this? I mean, she's my sister. Ah. And I kept it for a reason, even though I was oh, arguing. Oh, you're going to be my friend forever. Okay. So these are memories together. You promise? Yeah. Best friends forever? Oh, no, that. Crossing. I- you're crossing your legs, oh, you fucking sorry. whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is so crazy to it's me it's crazy huh and then damn I- my mom was cheaper than invitation <laughs> <laughs> bitch fuck off after facetime ashley so we can show yeah, her yeah, that yeah. and then i had when we went to knots oh no, to horror night no universal see i tell you we it's because always every single year we want to go to horror nights and i always tell irma irma we always get the front of the line pass and, I, and I, she always no. says no because she's like we never got it and i'm like girl bffr like you, we, we always get it and, and we, this is something that we always like nah we gotta low-key make a like a lot of money next month ah. no, 100 percent because, because i, I want to go in front of the line for that because that... this is gonna be chucky you know that oh i'm yeah. gonna be so obsessed with that tiffany better be i better be fucking seeing tiffany dolls I all rather, around bitch. i better be fucking having chucky motorboat my titties no for real last two items guys i fucking swear this is the last two items uh, okay but uh, of course i had a fucking cute, one is that when you bought it when you went bad. to the concert concert oh it my is. god that's so cute take me home tour oh shit 
That was probably like $45 on... <laughs> probably, bitch. I wouldn't fucking doubt it. They're still making millions, bitch. I can't complain. Oh <laughs> I supported God. them. I helped them live, bitch. Dude, how cute vibe. And I remember literally no joke that I said in last week's video that, oh my gosh, I don't have the poster. I threw it away. It was the one with the Nile doll and it had the lights. Uh-huh. I literally fucking have it. Wait, where is it? In here, bitch. It's oh, right here. It. Oh. It's right here. So literally, oh, so cool. when I took my time on this, I took my time oh, on this. you made this? I made this hand to hand, bitch. No joke. Look. Oh, wow. No, oh. this wasn't for the concert. It was when I went to the Ellen show and I wanted to see them and they didn't. And I couldn't see them and go inside. So I had to wait for them outside. So this was the poster that I was holding. Uh, oh, my God. Dude. Dude. Uh, she all put the, their flag and everything <laughs> and only put one direction. Dude, no, for real. I was a huge ass ha fan. Like the, the, <laughs> the British flags were the hardest thing that I did. And honestly, like... Why didn't you just I'm print out? Myself. Why didn't you just print out a British flag instead of making? <laughs> because bitch, my parents didn't have money for ink, bitch. Okay. But you had you had money for a library card. Library cards don't cost money, bitch. They're free. Um, I know, but to print out is ten cents each. Oh well, babe. I um. DIY. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you know what? I actually wasn't intelligent. <laughs> I was just fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Okay, let's say shot really before oh we end God. this episode. No, for real. But no. Irma, BS aside. Irma, Irma's not only going to take a shot. She's going to finish her drink and then take a shot. Oh my gosh, bitch. Not oh. because I finished my drink and I don't think that's fucking fair, Loki. I'm sorry. I like to like take my time on these. Nah, because who are you? Because like. Um, I'm not Irma. I'm Irma. <laughs> ah, bitch. Imagine. Okay, well, take that and then you're still going to take another one of these so okay well cheers you guys cheers. Uh, uh. and with that being said you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode you guys already know what to fucking motherfucking do go ahead and comment down below what was your favorite part come back up click that like button and the subscribe button and please comment your favorite buzzball drink yeah literally and don't forget to follow us at all of our social medias at call me danny mine's are my ticks xo y los miramos para la otra bye, bye.